everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to share with you how to make these adorable little Easter Bunny rosettes I have absolutely had so much fun making these oh my goodness and I just think they are so cute if you watched my last Dollar Tree haul I said that I had come up with the craft for these Easter Bunny eggs that come from Dollar Tree they come eight to a package and they look like this and I just think they are so cute and I absolutely love them. So first I have to say that this rosette cupcake tutorial is not my making at all. I've been inspired by Happy Mail Queen here on YouTube. I will definitely link her channel down below. In fact, I'll link the video down below where she had showed us how she creates her little rosettes that she makes. And that is how this whole thing progressed and I was able to make my little bunnies. Definitely hop on over and check out Happy Mail Queen's channel. I love her, you guys. I've been following her for at least a year now and she is just so creative and has some of the most adorable projects. She has the sweetest little girl who makes a guest appearance in her videos sometimes too, so you will not be disappointed. If you enjoy crafty videos, definitely go check out her channel. I'm going to talk about these little rosettes a little bit. Everything here, for the most part, has come to the Dollar Tree, which if you guys know me, you know that I absolutely love being able to come up with projects that work that way. The only thing that isn't that might be a problem are these circles. These are things that I have punched out and I will get into further detail with that in a minute, but most everything here is from the Dollar Tree. Some of the supplies that you're going to need are these paper straws. You can get them anywhere, not just the Dollar Tree. It's just such a great price and a great deal for them. They come in a variety of colors so you can create them however you wish. You're also going to need some cupcake liners. These pink and white polka dot liners did come from the Dollar Tree, but because I'm double layering them, the other prints that were at the Dollar Tree are not my favorite to use with this egg. You can do whatever you want to. I found these at Michael's, but right now these spring Easter colors are in absolutely any store. Not hard to come by at all. Pick out a couple different cupcake liners that you like. And then of course you're going to need these adorable Easter Bunny eggs from Dollar Tree. Something else that I used are these pom-poms from the Dollar Tree. Again, these are available anywhere, any craft store, probably Walmart. Now the thing that might create a problem is I use this circle punch to create the little to create the little circles that I'm going to use for the base of my rosette. Mine's an inch and a half. So just know that the bigger the circle, probably the bigger the rosette is going to turn out. And then the other thing is I'm going to use this scalloped circle. There are scalloped circle punches out there. This is something that I cut with my Cameo Silhouette. So any way that you want to find a circle back, whether it's a sticker or something that you punch out, or just like in my other tutorials where I'll literally use a kitchen glass to trace it as a stencil and cut out a circle. This circle is two inches, and because of my larger sized rosette that I have here, it just works perfectly in the back. And I also have some ribbon that I'm going to use for his bow tie that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I have a ruler just in case, a pair of scissors, my hot glue gun, and for finishing touches, I'm just going to put some of this glittery glue stickles on the tips of his ears. Okay, so that's pretty much all of the supplies I'm going to use, so let's get started. We're going to start this project by taking our cupcake liners and cutting off the bottom of the liners. Pick the liner that you want at the very base of your rosette, cut down one of the ridges, and take off the bottom of the cupcake liner. This is going to give you a nice, big base to glue to your two inch circle. Next, I'm going to take the blue cupcake liner and I'm going to cut it about a quarter of an inch from the base of the liner itself. This will allow more room for the pink liner to show from behind. We're going to begin by taking our pink cupcake liner and gluing it down to our one and a half inch circle cutout. This may take a little practice, it did for me. Just be patient, it'll work out if you take your time. I start by adding a drop of hot glue and then scrunching the liner down around the circle. 
I found that if I kept my thumb at the base of the liner, it worked as a guide to make sure I was gluing my liner down exactly where I wanted it. I'm not going to say that my rosette is a perfect circle in the end, but it really did help me form the shape I am working toward. So here I just keep gluing and scrunching, gluing and scrunching all the way around the circle. Now that I have my circle completely covered with the liner, I'm going to work at gluing down my ridges together so that they line up and fit together perfectly, adding my last touch of glue. Now that we have our first liner glued down how we like it, we're going to take our second liner and do the same thing. This time, concentrating on using our thumb as a guide and scrunching the blue liner so it lines up evenly with the pink liner, preferably leaving about half an inch showing beneath the blue liner. This will take some eyeballing as you move around the circle, but I actually found it easier this time around because I had the pink liner to measure up against and form my circle. We're at the end of our circle again, so we just want to line up our edges so the creased sections lay perfectly with each other. Add your last touch of glue and don't forget to use your thumb as a guide. After you snip off the remaining bit of cupcake liner, if you're like me, your circle isn't going to be perfect. Just take your scissors and trim it up a bit until you find your desired shape, something that you're pleased with. So that was the hardest part of our project. The rest of it is pretty fun and moves pretty quickly. Next, we're going to glue down our straw to the back of our rosette. I'm going to try to line up my straw with the seams in the cupcake liners just to give it a more polished look. The first time I glued down my straw, I didn't feel like I glued it down in a straight line. You can see that I just peeled off my glue and tried again. Okay guys, so this is my favorite part. We're going to glue down our bunny. I'm obviously using the front half of the egg. You want to move kind of quickly with your hot glue here because the lines of the glue are so thin, it can actually dry rather quickly. It's okay if the glue falls to the inside of the egg. Just try to get your glue laid down rather fast and glue your egg down to your rosette. Now we're going to take our two inch circle and glue it down to the top of the straw behind our rosette. After that, we're going to take our little puff ball and glue it in tail position on top of our circle. It's helpful if you spread the puff ball a little bit just to help the glue absorb deeper into the cotton. Now the final step, adding our bow. I cut a piece of ribbon that was about 20 inches long 
typically I just cut a piece longer than what I know I'm going to need, but I wanted to at least have a general idea for you guys. Next, we're just going to make a little bow tie by tying a bow. And then we're going to hot glue it down to our little bunny. I also like to cut my ribbon so that they are even and they have a diagonal edge to them. And that's it! We have an adorable piece of decor that we can use in any area of the house. Here is one example. Everything for this project you see here, I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Very simple centerpiece to put together, and it only cost around $6, including the price of the rosettes. I hope that you guys like this video. If you do, please remember to like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. <laughs> See you guys next time.